Hello everyone, this is Chinmay P. Jagga or Sarcastic CJ and today, in QS Contrarians, I'm actually going to critically examine uh, Chandrayaan 3. Actually, not uh, the lander itself, which is actually Vikram, uh, the, not the mission itself, but the thoughts which people have originated through this mission. So before examining and analyzing this uh, marvelous of occasion, first let's understand the uh, the human understanding of space, what it was and what it has become. Humans understood space first through uh, scriptures, through religion, by which they got to understand uh, about cosmology or at that time to know what is going on in the heavens. They made some models which are still present in their scriptures regarding the world where it is a disc shaped flat dome where stars are around it and there are s and uh, uh, the water uh, is everywhere outside of that. Um, there are also s several other which I if I would state I have to make a video on that itself. But that's what human understanding was before science. As science came along, uh, the idea of geocentrism really collapsed very quickly. Uh, I mean, not very quickly, it took a long time. Uh, uh, scientists uh, like Copernicus and Galileo Galilei uh, were the actual origins, uh, sorry, were the fathers of the scientific method. And they are reminded in our brains when we think about heliocentrism. Uh, just clarifying, heliocentrism is also an incorrect model because the sun is not the center of the universe. In fact, we don't know what the center of the universe is. Then comes on uh, scientists like Immanuel Kant, Laplace, uh, who propose and philosophize about the origin of the solar system through the nebular hypothesis which is known by both Kant and Laplace Einstein who uh, enhanced the theory of gravity proposed by Isaac Newton Edwin Hubble got us to know that we are not living in a universe which are dictated by the theory uh, dictated by Newtonian physics but actually it's much 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 more than that um, that our universe is expanding, but it was still thought that one day gravity will prevail and the universe will collapse back. Um, but uh, Lawrence Krauss, who I consider one of the uh, very uh, profound theoretical physicists of our day, has had discovered that actually the rate of expansion of our universe is increasing drastically it's increasing every second oh yeah, here it is i found it yeah there we go he specifies that i'm still reading the book it's a fabulous book i love reading such books um and well that's how our development of understanding with some people's name uh, of course i couldn't name all of them i apologize if, if i missed any of the theoretical physicists uh, chemists uh, astrophysicists, whatever, uh, if you like them and so, I am sorry about that, I had to keep this concise. Going forward from that, I uh, want to give you an, uh, uh, a little bit insight of the Vikram lander, uh, accomplishment of Indian uh, space, uh, space uh, research as, uh, organization, I was going to say agency, uh, and uh, through the uh, grateful help of NASA and the ESA through their uh, uh, several systems as well. I want to appreciate that first and also the milestone uh, achieved by humanity in uh, reaching the South Pole of the Moon. Well, this, uh, uh, this land this land or this lander has been really designated to know uh, I think the uh, availability of helium-3 in the South Pole and several other uh, research regarding uh, the moon what I know is about the helium-3 just saying uh, and 
the point uh, where this landed is called the Thiranga point or the Shiv Shakti point and well uh, here is going to come my thoughts on this well uh, as you may see a lot of twitter posts have been made on the achievement and a lot i mean a lot of things have been heard from my environment regarding this from my school to my just friends and all to uh, some competitions i have been in the speeches given there but uh, I really want to stress the fact that, uh, for example, uh, on the Twitter handle, uh, Twitter, a lot of people say that it's a milestone of India. It's an another Indian milestone. Uh, I'm sorry, as an Indian, I'm I'm very patriotic about this. But as an Indian, I am too an internationalist. So I don't think this is an Indian milestone. This is a milestone achieved by our species, Homo sapiens who had a brain to work in the plains of Africa and survive by making tools and now are making huge telescopes and space landers. It is an achievement of humanity which is helped through India, mostly uh, the uh, Indian Space Research Organization. And uh, Hence, I really don't want to coin it as a term that it is an achievement of India. It is an achievement of humanity, a triumph of human engineering and technology. And as well as uh, human ambition and thought. As I want to keep that in a conclusive statement, this is the achievement of the, our species, Homo sapiens, through a nation which happens to be my nation where I took birth in India and I'm really proud of that and first of all I'm really proud of our species in achieving uh, this accomplishment and I hope we have more to see and now my another critique to this point is that the name uh, which uh, has been set for uh, the point landed which is the Taranga point I I prefer the Taranga point. There are actually two names for it. It's the Taranga point and the Shiv Shakti. As the preamble states that uh, India is a sovereign, socialist, uh, secular and a democratic republic. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think this really violates the idea of secularism here as it is focusing on one religion according to me that is Hinduism. Uh, uh, my question is that why keep the name as Shiv Shakti? Why can't we name it Allah point? Why can't we name it Guru Nanak point? Why can't we name it Jesus point? Or etc. And that's why I propose the fact that the Thiranga point sounds much better and much collective to our nation. And finally, the, uh, I wanted to connect the idea of Indian pride here because I have been questioned that why do you think that such is the case or so I am sorry but really really it doesn't make sense to say that this is an achievement of India where it clearly looks as the achievement of humanity I mean when in 1969 when uh, Neil Armstrong landed uh, uh, on the moon. Did he say one small step for man, one giant step for America? I don't think so. He called it as humanity. He uh, ca uh, called it an achievement of Homo sapiens. Not as an achievement of his nation. Not as an achievement of his nation's alliance. Or not as the achievement of the organization which helped him to do so. He coined the achievement to all humanity. And similarly, this is an achievement to all humanity. We all are homo sapiens, irrespective of our uh, nations. We all are at the end of the day from the same gene pool. We all evolved from apes and hence we should 
treat each other equally in a sense and be proud of such an achievement irrespective of the country which landed on uh, the moon right now. I wouldn't be much more uh, patriotic if uh, uh, in a sense or a much more happy in a sense if US landed on the South Pole or if China landed on the South Pole or if the EU landed on the South Pole. I would be equally as happy because they are homo sapiens just like me and this is another triumph of human engineering and human ability to uh, do work at the point to limit uh, to the limits of their curiosity. Well that was me, it was a pretty long video but thank you everyone for watching. This has been your host Chinme P Jagga or Sarcastic CJ. Stay curious and keep questioning. Cool CJ one one zero. Cool CJ one one zero. Cool CJ. Cool CJ.